What's going on, YouTube? Uber. <laughs> I really. That was legit a mistake. I was about to say Uberman here. Wow. Okay, sometimes I do that on purpose for fun, but today it's, it really was an accident. Welcome to Auto Auction Rebuilds, where today, as with every day, we're not actually rebuilding anything. We're going to go buy something. Uh, today is a day that a lot of you on Instagram that follow me have been waiting for. You've been waiting for this reveal. And if you don't follow me on Instagram and you don't know what we're talking about, which is probably the majority of you, I really suggest you go over to Instagram and follow me, Auto Auction Rebuilds on, on Instagram. You'll get updates like a week, seriously, before you're going to see the video about it on YouTube. Um, also, follow me on Facebook, Auto Auction Rebuilds. You can actually send messages and stuff. And when I do have the time, I will answer as many as I can. But obviously, I can't answer 200,000 messages. So we are here at a dealership. And I am... To say I'm satisfied is just an understatement with the amount of effort, the amount of work that this place put in to making this deal happen. It's phenomenal, especially after the way you guys saw the video uh, of what I had to go through at David Stanley Chrysler Jeep Dodge in Midwest City. It was, as, as has been my experience there every time, it has just been a very negative experience. So here's what we are in today. You guys might recognize this. My fiance, what's the name of this car? You call her what? Shelly. She named my Corvette Shelly. And then I went and bought myself a beautiful Camaro 2SS. And then she took that from me. And what did you name that car? She flipped me off. <laughs> <laughs> she names that car Shirley, right? It's Shirley. This is Shelly. That's just so effectively. She took two cars, named them both girl names. And uh, I said, you know what? To hell with this. I'm going to buy something she can't drive. Yeah, I'm smart. Because I'm a smart man, I decided to go buy something she cannot drive. Which means we're... What? Drive a stick. Ah, I don't know if you can drive a stick or not. I mean, you can drive a stick. I just don't know if you can drive a stick. Anyway... Yeah, this thing right here, this has been the source of all my problems. All of, in fact, you and I only fight, I swear, about this right here. Otherwise, we have a perfect relationship. We never argue, we never fight. And look at this. We made an agreement that uh, if I got what I wanted today, she was going to get her something new. So she got her something new. And now I'm getting myself something new. So instead of dragging it out, we are at Bob Howard Chevrolet up in Edmond. And I'll be honest with you, I I don't I don't I don't know how this happened. <laughs> There's my new car. Oh my god, they took it out of the showroom floor and they sat it there for us. Your destination is on the right. That is my new ride right there, ladies and gentlemen. That is a 2019 brand new, literally came out of those showroom doors, Stingray. So there she is, boys and girls. Two Corvettes. We've got the C6, which is a 2009 LT3 or 3LT. And then we got 10 years newer, the 2019 Chevy Corvette. It's got three miles on the odometer. She's a little dirty. Keep in mind, it's been sitting indoors and dusty. I love the metallic flake in all of this, man. It's just a beautiful car. Tell me that is not gorgeous. My two babies right here. I don't know. This one, this one, you can go. You can go. This is it right here, man. I'm telling you. Now, I know for some of you, you see exotic cars on lots of channels. And, you know, this is just a Corvette, right? And you're right, it is just a Corvette. But man, I'm telling you, my experience with Corvettes has just been phenomenal. They are like the best bang for your dollar. You know, the best horsepower for the money you can get, I feel, is in one of these Corvettes. We got the Michelin Pilot Sports. I think they're Michelin Pilot Sports, right? Uh, see, I called things out before I even read it. All I can see is Michelin michelin whatever we'll figure that out later do they have it locked they do dang it let's go get the keys and get her unlocked before we go any further i want to introduce you to the guy that helped make all this possible this is zach zach 
thank you so much for helping me man i appreciate this i'll explain to you guys after we get through with the driving and everything we got to go put some gas in it because how many miles have got on it three three miles three three miles we're gonna go put some gas in it real quick and uh i'll explain to you the situation and why it was this wasn't just a cut and dry easy type deal where you walk in it actually took them uh now you guys have been working on this for four or five days. Uh, yeah, a few days now. yeah, it's taken a while. I'll explain to you that situation. That's all my issue. It's nothing on them. They did a great job, and I really do appreciate all the time and energy they put into this. Look, we got the brand new key still sealed in the package here. And I know most of you have probably seen a C7 by now. You know, C7s are kind of old news, but I'll tell you what, as a kid from the trailer park, it's kind of hard for me to believe that I just came to a dealership and picked up a brand new C7 Corvette. Where's the hood? Right here? Uh, no? It's kind of deep down in there. But you're like, like, like a Mercedes. <laughs> Same place the Mercedes are. So for me, guys, I know for a lot of you that watch people that have Lamborghinis, Ferraris, McLarens, you know, this is not that big a deal for you. But for me, this is a huge deal. And I got to thank all of my subscribers for watching these videos and making this lifestyle possible. I really do appreciate all of you. Now let's go rip the tires off, break it loose, and no, I'm kidding. <laughs> we'll wait to do that till after the paperwork is signed. And this right here... Oh crap. Oh. Get that seat back just a little bit here. Look at this. This is what makes this car special. Because of this, Jessica cannot drive it, which means she can't take it from me. She can't use it. This car will be here every day for me to drive because of that stick shift right there. Let's take her for a first ride. All right. So I'm literally. Hell, I don't know what all this is. I'm literally sitting here looking at this stick shift. I'm like, okay, you know, a six speed is one thing, but this has got seven. And to me, it's like seven. How do I know like what's what? Well, thankfully <laughs> on the screen there, it's real nice. And it lets you know what gear you're in. And honestly, it's pretty intuitive. It, it feels pretty natural putting it into gear. Now we'll see what that clutch is like. There's your infotainment system right there. It's got a pretty nice dash. You've got your analog gauges on each side, and then you've got this digital screen in the middle, which I'm sure there's a bunch, a bunch of buttons that you can push and change the screen like it is on my Camaro SS. Rev match. Um, they had these paddle shifters in the automatic, and let me tell you, I'll, I'll be the first to tell you right now, the automatic transmissions in these suck and I specifically wanted a Corvette that did not have one. I've got the Camaro 2 SS, and it has the 8-speed uh, automatic. It has in, been in service department more times than I can count, and it is still not taken care of. So I, I would not recommend buying an automatic. But here it's got a rev match, so it makes shifting... Pretty much you can drive, anybody can drive a stick. If, if you know if you know how to work the rev match system, anybody could drive this stick shift. It makes it very simple to use. Now, where is the odometer? I want to make sure, where is the odometer? It's the bottom left, it keeps scrolling down. Oh, it's right there. Yeah. I didn't see it because there's nothing, <laughs> there's nothing on it. Literally three miles on the clock. We're going to take this thing to a gas station. Let's fill her up with some premium unleaded and uh, get back here, fill out some paperwork and take her home. All right, guys, let me tell you something. With the stick shift, she she already broke the tires loose. It wasn't intentional. I'm trying to drive it in a very mild manner. 7-Eleven? <laughs> uh, on cue. On cue? Okay, perfect. I prefer uh, Phillips 66 gas over 7-Elevens. Oh, look, CarMax. Let's take the car and trade it in. Let's take it in right now and do a trade-in appraisal. Yeah, so it's actually pretty mild mannered, but I, I I will say that with the stick shift, it just feels totally different than uh than my Camaro SS man. It really does, and I'm still getting used to the clutch here. Obviously, I haven't driven a I haven't driven a stick in a while, but I'm actually not doing too bad. And no, I'm not holding a camera and driving a stick at the same time. That would be reckless. And probably illegal so I'm not doing that I've got someone sitting on my lap holding the camera for me. it's him <laughs> yeah we're gonna go put some gas in this bad boy I'm gonna get back and uh, sign the paperwork and give them my c6 and then we're going to uh, we're gonna take this out this is gonna look so much better in the driveway than that old c6 it really will
All right, so we're standing here at the gas station and I, I brought the car here because it needs gas, right? It's only got three miles on it and it's got factory gas in it from whenever it was, you know, brought up here. And I was like, okay, cool, I'm excited. It's my, it's my brand new Corvette, brand new Corvette. I can't believe it. Like, I'm so stoked and excited about this. And before you guys get into the shop, this Corvette does not affect the purchase or the building of my shop at all. It's not like I took $50,000 out of the bank and dropped it on this car and now I'm broke, okay? That's not how it works. This car has no impact on building a shop. But anyway, we get to the gas station. I go to pull out my credit card to fill the tank up and Zach over here is like, no, no, no. See, I, I got used to the David Stanley experience where they make you pay for your own gas for a test drive and then don't reimburse you when you don't get the car, right? They did not play any games with the numbers, man, none. And in fact, they gave me like 14 grand for my C6. And uh, David Stanley said, that wasn't possible, can't do better than 11. Wrong. Bob Howard took care of me and there was no talk. There was no talk about doing a video, about there's no sponsorship here. Nothing was promised, paid for, etc. I go to put gas in this thing and, and Zach over here walks in and he puts his credit card in. He said, no, nah, man, that tank is on us getting it wiped down and everything, the first detail on us. Then he goes inside, asks me if I'd like something to drink. He's going to get me a soda. This is the type of experience that I was talking about when I said, buying a car has become such a pain. I just dread doing it. I don't look forward to going out. I look forward to getting the car. I just don't look forward to the experience. Bob Howard has single-handedly changed the way I feel about the car buying experience. So you can bet I will be back. And if you're in the Oklahoma City area, Tulsa, anywhere here in the state, and heck, if you're even out of the state, if you're looking for a car, they got what you want. As of right now, I, I can't recommend them enough. Like they have been really good to me and they really pulled some strings to get this financing done. All right, so I gotta give a big shout out to Paul, who's the finance manager here. And he really, he put in a lot of work. I'm gonna wait to tell you about what happened with financing till I get back to the house out of the, uh, out of the wind and the cold. But there's the new car, there's the old one. We're about to get all of our stuff out of it, get the plates and everything onto that. And I just had to do one last walk around of Shelly, the old C6 Corvette. I truly did love and enjoyed the experience of owning this car. And I'm super excited to be taking possession of the new C7 here today. So thank you to everybody over here at Bob Howard Chevrolet, folks. Like I said, if you're in the area, even if you're not, check these guys out. I, I'm telling you, it's the best buying experience I have ever had. So we finally made it to the house and this car is gonna take some getting used to. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of, <laughs> I kind of wish I had gone with that 10 speed automatic. I also wish I'd gotten the Z51 package the Z51 package, honestly, is almost a necessity when buying one of these. But it is what it is. I'm not rich yet. You know, I'm finally able to comfortably go out and purchase my first brand new Corvette. It's a base model. I can't tell you how excited I am to have it, how thankful I am, how blessed I feel to be able to do something like this. It may seem frivolous. Okay, it's frivolous. <laughs> it's absolutely frivolous. No doubt about that. It's just one of those things I never dreamed in a million years growing up so poor and without basic things that most people take for granted. I could have never dreamed I'd be in this position today. So... My spending habits may not make a lot of sense to all of you, and that is because a lot of them are made. Uh, I wouldn't recommend you make the same decisions <laughs> as me, basically, is what it comes down to. Um, I'm just excited to be in this position. I'm happy to be here, and a base model Corvette is more than I ever dreamed I would ever have in this life. Um, so for that, I just want to say thank you to all of you for watching and, and making this possible for me for basically helping make my dreams come true uh, I couldn't have done it without you and I really do appreciate all of you so much for making this lifestyle possible now uh, after driving the seven speed let me tell you it's going to take me a while to learn this transmission 
I am not used to having seven gears. I've never driven a car with seven gears. And you think you're in fifth, but then you're in seventh. So you try to get back to fifth, but then you're in third. <laughs> The seven speed is it, 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 it's going to take a little bit of getting used to. I'm still trying to figure out, you know, the whole rev matching thing so that the shifts aren't too harsh. But man, it is such a blast to drive. And I'm sure the 10 speed automatic would have been a lot more seamless and smooth and also faster. You know, it seems like you can't win on YouTube. You know what I mean? If I bought the automatic, I would have 100,000 people commenting saying you're a loser because you bought an automatic. When, I, when you buy a stick, I'm going to have 100,000 people complaining that I bought a stick shift because they're going to tell you that the automatic is faster, which it is. But there is nothing like sitting in the driver's seat of your Corvette, any, oh, screw a Corvette, any car, and just shifting through. You know what I'm talking about. A lot of you have a stick shift at home, right? Tell me, you've owned Automax. There's nothing like being able to just shift through those gears, man. There's something really satisfying about having the control over the gas pedal and over the gear as well. It's, it's phenomenal. It's a wonderful experience. And in the 30 miles I have now driven this car, this car now has 30 miles on it. It had three when we picked it up. I am just, I'm overjoyed, man. I'm overjoyed. So we got the new VET. We got the original Crossfire on the channel. We got the new Crossfire on the channel, which I don't know what order these videos are coming out in, so you may not have seen this car yet. And if you haven't, oh. <laughs> this was my surprise purchase from Mercedes, Texas. I wanted a drop top so bad, and I may have made a big mistake. Now, if this video, if this video of the Crossfire comes out before and just ignore all that, but if not, stay tuned because this one, this one's a doozy. We got the truck over there, the good old F2 Nifty, and uh, the Chevy Cruze is still rented out. Oh yeah, we got the trailer over here too. So I promised you guys that I was going to tell you what happened with the credit, and I'm going to run through that real quick. Um, <laughs> it was it was a nightmare. Um, my bank told me my credit union told me I was approved for 60 grand. They said, go pick out your new Corvette. We got you approved for 60 grand, guaranteed you're done. So I, I didn't need financing. So I went to Bob Howard and I said, hey, I already knew which one I wanted. I just wanted the base model. They had a lot of incentives going on, a lot of incentives going on for this car because it's the end of the year. That, that was $3,000, like a $3,000 end of the year event that expired November 28th. A $3,000 Corvette appreciation, owner's appreciation discount. And the price of this thing was just, and because it's just a base model stick shift, the price wasn't that much to begin with. So I was like, I just want a base Corvette. That's it. I just want a regular run-of-the-mill Corvette that I can enjoy. And I had this stock number picked out. And when I walked in the store, it was sitting on the showroom floor inside. You know what I mean? It was absolutely beautiful just sitting on that showroom floor. And we did all the paperwork, and then they got a hold of my bank, and my bank said, well, there's a problem, Mr. Shear. We couldn't get the approval on your loan because your credit score dropped 14 points. So because I used up so much credit renovating the house, it took my credit from over a 700 to just under a 700. I mean, it was kind of ridiculous, and because of that, they could not give me the loan for the car. So Bob Howard, they had already started prepping the car. They pulled all the stickers off. They activated my OnStar account. You know, they, they put all of my information in the car and had this car ready to go for me. And then the bank denied the loan. So uh, Bob Howard ended up having to jump through a lot of hoops and, and, and really work to get this deal done because uh, <laughs> my credit had dropped recently and i guess 14 points is considered fairly significant and it was concerning to a lot of lenders and they were able to find one one lender that would approve it thankfully the interest rate is not astronomical although the interest rate is a lot higher uh, about 2.5 percent higher that's a lot than what i expected it to be with my other bank but i think we'll we'll pay off a good chunk 
you know, we'll get about 10 grand or so paid down on this, and then we will refinance it once my credit score crosses that 700 mark, which should only be a month or two, and we should be good to go again. So I guess with that, that's the big reveal of the C7 Corvette. I'm not gonna make a lot of videos on this. This is like my personal car. Real tired of the C6 sitting here not being used, and I really wanted something that I wanted to drive, something I wanted to enjoy that I could feel good about getting into and driving around. And at the end of the day, that's why I picked up the C7. I absolutely love the car. So I guess in the near future, we're gonna have to do an exhaust and I'm going to contact Borla. I've got a contact over there to see if they might wanna sponsor a cat back or even just an axle back system or something for it. Uh, exhaust, definitely a priority. I wanna get the paint corrected. Um, Brian, if you're watching this from the Auto Spa LLC, um, hit me up, dude, because I would like to see what kind of deal you can get me on getting this thing perfect. I want to make it look absolutely beautiful. Definitely ceramic coated. I'm so excited. I, it's going to take me a while to get used to driving it for real. That seven speed is, it's a little on the tricky side. I'm not some performance expert race car driver or anything. You know, I'm just a casual driver that likes fast cars. Uh, I'm going to bounce, but I want to thank all of you for being here. If you enjoyed the content, give the video a big thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram, Auto Auction Rebuilds. Follow me on Facebook, Auto Auction Rebuilds. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not currently subscribed. Share the video with your friends. That really does a lot to help the channel. Where are you guys going? They're going south, man. They're like, it is cold. They're going south. We will catch you all very soon in the next one.